Hi everyone, I'm Elle and welcome to my Ethical Fashion YouTube channel. If you're new here, I upload weekly and I'm super happy to have you. Today we're diving into a hot topic that's been stirring up quite a conversation, which is the intersection of beauty and sports, specifically around female athletes. And I've been taking a look at the partnership between Glossier and the USA Olympic Women's Basketball Team. Now let's talk about it because I want to know why this matters and what it means for the recent conversations on female standards for athletes. So if you're not aware, Glossier is the first beauty brand to partner with the USA's basketball women's national team, also known as the WNBA, and they provided skincare, makeup, and beauty products to the team as they traveled to play in Europe back in May-ish June. And they even had a presence at the team's exhibition game in London ahead of the 2024 Olympics. It's been a while, but this really marks the first time that the team has had a partnership in three decades but it's the first beauty partnership so it's kind of a big deal yeah i really want us to take some time to hold this moment and think about it because why would glossier a beauty brand partner with the athletic team it just doesn't make sense so i was like wait a minute we have to explore this especially because i always wonder what companies kpis are and what their quarterly goals are because that often shapes their values and their reasoning and it's obvious that the olympics is a global feat where there's a lot of potential revenue and new clients on the line yet i can't help but think why 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 this partnership why was it necessary what were they after to get into it let's consider brand messaging i feel like beauty brands like glossier often emphasize glamour makeup and traditional notions of femininity while an olympian basketball team may just focus on athleticism and performance and breaking barriers and these are very two different worlds yet they could work maybe um, and Glossier has done an amazing job at this. They have been highlighting beauty both on and off the court. And they've been doing this with large billboards, encouraging fans to shop at their stores in the games. But I do want to point out Glossier's partnership with the team is not a new thing. They first collaborated with them back in 2020. And they were the first official beauty partnership for the team. And then a Glossier executive explained recently that this is a continued partnership. And her take is really interesting. So she says there is a big, long standing notion that beauty and sports don't mix. And this partnership underscores the fact that that's simply not true. The USA women's national team is full of inspiring athletes with stories to tell both on and off the court. We are thrilled to shine a light on them. But that's not to ignore who's watching us on the sidelines. Like the primary fans of an Olympian female basketball team are often not a beauty product consumer slash fan. And I know this is a huge generalization, but I know athletic people usually go for more of a light natural feel there's a bit of that unpredictability in the partnership whether it'll work and people will actually engage in it an example of further delving into brand messaging is in a old collab video they worked on together about three years ago where they showcase a day in the life of the team members where they literally explain how they care for their skin and for their body and they end up saying the secret water like <laughs> like what was that like do they forget to like take that part out of the video if you don't believe me like let's let's watch the video right now okay look the secret water bro like i wonder why i kept it in like what and then glossier i feel like ended up playing with it and inserting themselves in there somehow to make it make sense so basically the company knows the typical everyday normal look of an athlete like it's no surprise and they even end the, the video with the motto body hero which can mean so many different things but i feel like it alludes to the myth that the product is helping them become a hero helping their body win and to become its best version so that's a very interesting thing to take a look at and now maybe we can explore how maybe both worlds can collide we can have fashion lovers and beauty lovers and have someone be athletic and natural at the same time because individuals are complex and unique and it just also makes me consider authenticity within marketing like this partnership may come off as authentic if you don't rip their content apart because they do have very strategic storytelling however a capitalistic partnership is always opportunist and marketing's new favorite words are authenticity 
diversity, trust, and values. Meaning if Glossier and the team doesn't have a genuine connection or shared values, then it's going to feel forced. And nobody likes a forced partnership. Yet they have made serious partnership moves, such as the recent refurbishment of the Tompkins Square Park basketball court with the help of artist Na Shaniqua Rendorf. And this was a three-way partnership between Glossier, WNBA, and Project Backboard, which was created to bridge the gap between beauty and sports. Exactly what we're talking about. So they merged different marketing strategies found in sports marketing and beauty marketing by showcasing the courts, people playing, showcasing the dewy face of the athletes. So it really combined everything together. And dare I say, the timing was also impeccable given the hype and the tension to sports right now. I mean, people noticed it at our WNBA draft this year with three million people at peak watching how beautiful these players are, whether it's, you know, their looks or their soul or their heart and the work they're doing in their community, what they represent, how they represent themselves on social media too. I mean, I think like the nails, the eyelashes, the makeup, they're very authentic. So they express their, themselves uh, authentically. And as WNBA stars redefine the intersection of beauty and sport, CEO of Glossier Kylie shared insights on the promising future ahead. We're so excited about the power of women in sport. I don't think there are women that really embody the power of beauty in everyday life in a more impactful way than the women of the WNBA. I believe that beauty in everyday life means that you look good no matter where you are. And Glossier and WNBA are showing that there's a very, very bright future for women in sports. And meanwhile, studies have shown that female athletes drive twice the social engagement in comparison to their male counterparts. And they're getting more airtime at fashion and beauty fueled events like the Met Gala and women's sports have also seen a significant increase in coverage across broadcasts and streaming services and media and in digital publications. And recently this has been the case for misogynistic transphobic rumors of athletes based on their appearances and testosterone levels, which is really sad and upsetting to see as a feminist and with so many eyes on female athletes. Given major platforms like ESPN, Prime, and Paramount Plus bringing these games to more screens and more people than ever before, which is increasing a lot of their reach of their products. And so this commodification of sports, turning it into partnerships and sponsorships, in other words, is very much a chance for brands to make more money. And by being part of things like the Olympics, it's a huge and ultimate money grab. And a great quote for this is, these brands know fans of women's sports are deeply invested in the athletes lifestyles and values often following their journeys both on and off the field beauty brands are well versed in influencer marketing and understand the impact of authenticity influencer marketing campaigns run by beauty brands achieve larger reach and engagement compared to non-influencer campaigns however this authenticity that once drove their engagement wanes as consumers fatigue with traditional beauty influencers i really don't want to see a world where female athletes need makeup to be valued and to look and feel beautiful Beautiful. Athletes like rugby player Leona Mahir have said she uses TikTok and certain products to share her brand and values in her life. She says, in your sport, especially rugby, you're not making a lot of coin. So we want to become very diversified and add a lot to our repertoire. I want to build myself up so that I can live a life that's comfortable also playing a sport. And her war paint, which is red lipstick, which is from the brand Maybelline, was something she was seen wearing even before signing with the men as ambassador which has become very iconic and has been sold across the UK and fans are really hungry for recommendations on what to eat, on what to wear, what to buy, especially on what to use on your skin and hair and the high engagement levels provided by beauty brands and by these athletes provide an opportunity to connect with passionate and loyal consumers through strategic partnerships and sponsors. So Mahir seems to be also one step ahead and even announced that she's launching her own skincare line focused on women and sports, something that we've seen other athletes, most notably Serena and Venus Williams, also pursue. So obviously there's a lot of money to be made by selling beauty products, specifically with an Olympian seal of approval. So to close off the video, the intersection of athleticism and beauty, particularly with female sports, raises a lot of questions and thoughts about beauty and commodification and sports and also just women's looks. The partnership with Glossier, with the basketball team, I feel like in theory should shine a light to these athletes. It's really crucial to consider 
uh, the implications though. But I do want to believe and trust that there's authenticity there and that there is obviously a risk in these collaborations. They only prioritize profit over anything else, especially because makeup after all doesn't equate to talent or skill. Many athletes often go makeup free and they're usually focused on their performance and when they do wear makeup it's typically very minimal. It's just like sparkles or eyeliner or some blush. If you fail to meet these standards you're being accused of being a man. So hopefully these expectations and beauty products don't further negatively define athletes because gold medals honestly are not earned through cosmetics. They're earned through hard work and dedication and a lifelong commitment to your sport. But yeah social pressures and conformity to western beauty standards is very much real. The need to feel beautiful, accepted, and empowered is all incredibly valid. With so many social dilemmas and companies chasing profit, do you think these partnerships help or do they do more harm than good? I really do want to see your thoughts in the comments. It's a very nuanced, it's a very complex situation, um, but I do strongly advocate we all try to be as strong, as beautiful, and empowered as we can be in this world. Until next time, peace and love. Oh.